And Commodity is backed up early. Grab his Frank to ringside. That stupid tennis racket. Frank giving it back to Chuck Arn. Back in the center of the ring, now Dantastic once a handshake. Figured one would be enough from Commodity. Only trust him once. Slap to the face by Scott Commodity. Who didn't see that coming? Right hand from Fantastic Dantastic, and we're on again. Make it four. Up against the ropes. Reversal by Scott Commodity. Underneath the punch goes Fantastic Dantastic, and he puts him on the back of his head with a belly to back suplex count of one. Fantastic Dantastic follows up, kick to the gut. Chop to the chest. Scott Commodity now the longest reigning D1PW Caribbean Heavyweight Champion. Up and over. But he got caught in the middle. We've mentioned it before, but those of you new to D1PW, he won the title in a fatal four-way match in Davey several months ago. Running power slam by Dantastic, a count of two and no. A fatal four-way in which he grabbed the tights after a roll-through of the Falcons finisher. He did pin the Falcon. Clothesline by Dantastic up and over the top rope to the outside. He's got the momentum early. Scott Commodity is in trouble here. Fantastic. Being interfered with, it looks like, by Fabulous Frank on the other side of the ring. Count is up to six now. Under the ring goes Scott Commodity, I believe. And out he comes as he sees Dantastic chasing after Fabulous Frank and a forearm to the back of the head of Fantastic Dantastic. Scott Commodity uses his brains, gets under the ring, and hides. And Fabulous Frank all too quick to tell everybody that they're smart. Commodity might be, don't know about Fabulous Frank. Takes Dantastic into the ring post, does Scott Commodity. Chuck Horn being lenient here. New count of two being applied. Scott Camardi rolls Dantastic back into the ring. And he drops an elbow. A count of two, I know. Scott Commodity has defended the Caribbean Heavyweight Championship against such competitors as David Mercury, Eric Stevens, survived them all to continue to hold the D1PW Caribbean Heavyweight Championship. Don't know if he'll be so fortunate on February the 23rd in North Miami. Kick to the gut of Dantastic. Matter of fact, he may not get to February 23rd in Miami as Dantastic is giving him a challenge right now, but he does have the upper hand. Goes into the eye holes to gouge the eyes of Dantastic. Twists the mask around the side of his face. And I'm sure Frank at this time would say, that's why you don't wear a mask. Boot rake across the eyes. Using those hard rubber soled boots to blind Dantastic. Elbow to the collarbone. He's picking apart Fantastic Dantastic at this time. He has the upper hand European uppercut. Chuck Oren. Admonishing him for something, but he didn't do anything wrong, I don't think. But there's Frank on the outside, choking Dantastic over the bottom rope. He follows up with a cover, does Scott Commodity. There's the count of two. There's fight left in Fantastic Dantastic. Couple punches to the gut. Right hand to the side of the jaw. Momentum switch here. Fantastic, fantastic. Into the corner. Goes Scott Commodity. The follow up results in a boot to the face of oh, Fantastic, fantastic. A huge leaping elbow and a cover for a count of two and three quarters. Scott Kamadi now will show the aerial ability as he goes to the top row. Fantastic up in time though, he's got him. But he punches a couple times to Scott Kamadi to get Fantastic Fantastic away. Forearm to the chest. 
What is Scott Commodity setting up for here? That punch was blocked and Commodity was rocked. If he's not careful, he might fall to the floor, but there's a forearm return, and it's a pair of six, back and forth. Who's gonna get the upper hand here as Commodity almost falls out to ringside? And now Fantastic Fantastic has ascended to the second rope. Looking for a superplex, it's been blocked twice. Commodity with forearm shots to the gut, pushes Dantastic off the middle row. That gives him the upper hand to the top. Scott Commodity, big, high, elbow smash. Could be trouble too, but Dantastic kicks out. Fine resiliency by the Max superhero. Cloverleaf leg lock around the side of the head of Fantastic Dantastic. Chuck Arn to make sure this isn't a choke. I don't think there any, is any way that it could be where his legs are positioned. Checking to see if Fantastic wants to give it up. I don't know if that's in his repertoire here, to give up or during wrestling matches. Scott Commodity, the impressive Caribbean heavyweight champion. Making another title defense. Fantastic, fantastic going after gold for the first time since his last opportunity to take down the tag team championship. Which the dynamic duo just has not been able to pull off. Reversal of the hold by Dantastic breaks the leg lock. And Commodity down for, I believe, a one count. There's a forearm by Dantastic. Back and forth action again. These two just do not like each other. Of course, Fantastic Dantastic has a long standing rivalry with Fabulous Frank as well. Back and forth. Up and over the top rope goes Commodity to the floor. No one can grab firm control of this matchup. It's back and forth action here at Division I Pro Wrestling. Count of five by Chuck Orange. The count is up to six already. Fabulous Frank on the outside with Commodity. They want to try to get him in the ring. Counts up to nine. Count broken by Dantastic and he leaps through the ropes to the outside with a plancha. And Dantastic means business. Throws Scott Commodity to the inside. Dantastic, far away from home there on the top rope. Leaps off with a huge clothesline. That could do it. Count of one, two, and... Scott Commodity still alive. And to the turnbuckle goes Scott Commodity back and forth action. Pace quickening here. Fantastic, fantastic. Don't know if I've seen this out of him before. And down goes Scott Commodity hard after a third turnbuckle shot. Hey. Following up, fantastic, fantastic. There's a bridged Northern Light suplex. Count of two and no. Scott Commodity is dazed. Dantastic is wearing down this effort. is sapping his energy and Scott Commodity finds a way to put a boot in the gut of Dantastic. Scott Commodity wants a pile driver? It's blocked twice by Dantastic. Backdrop on Commodity. There's a cover after the backdrop. Fabulous Franks at the ringside now distracting referee Chuck Aron. What's he doing up there? Fantastic goes after Frank. He leaps down. Buys commodity some time. And he fights back. Back and forth action for the Caribbean Heavyweight Championship. He's got the tennis racket. Reversal. Come on into the tennis racket. Courtesy of Fabulous Frank. Fantastic on top. Roll through. It was blocked. 
It was blocked. He covers him, holds on the ropes, and steals another one. The Scott commodity. The master of situations, the South Florida phenom, can find a way, it seems, out of any predicament. That cannot bode well for the Falcon on February the 23rd. Welcome back, wrestling fans. It was a great week of action right here at Division One Pro Wrestling this week. So, we're on to next week. On next week's episode, you will see maximum capacity return to action here on D1PW.com TV. As well as The Sheik. He makes his return facing Bobby Wolford in the Extreme Christmas Tree match. That's going to be one for the ages. So until then, thank you so much for tuning in this week. We'll see you right here next week. So long from the Sunshine State.